Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to one military camp. Now, let me just don my drill instructor hat for this next bit. Listen up, you little worms. Architects have taken over the land, and we must trade the largest, most powerful army we can in order to take it back. There will be no function over form. There will be no excessive use of cantilevered beams. Engineering will reign once again. Now get down and give me 10. And while you're at it, click the link in the description, because this video is sponsored. Thank you, devs, for sponsoring the video. Hoorah! Right, with my voice suitably wrecked, let's start a new game and we're going to play the campaign. So, start off, we've got to enter text. Text. So, basically, we start off here. This is our military camp. Uh, and we've got we've got all this land over here. And if we zoom out even further, you can see where we are on the map. We've literally been pushed back to the borders. Everything in red is what the architects have taken over. Uh, we basically need to train an army and then start fighting our way back. You'll see every so often that bus, they've just dropped off a new recruit. So they're walking over to the recruitment center. So for now, I'm going to pause the game and we're going to do a little bit of building. We've got 150 grand to spend and we need some essentials first. So we'll start off building some roads i'm guessing we're gonna go sort of straight up there and now because this is a training camp where we're gonna have people living here we sort of want like an area where people like live another area where people train and you want to keep them separate because the noise they can disrupt people there's going to be night shifts and stuff so over this side we're going to start with the barracks they are essential because that's where our people are going to sleep and stuff so we'll plop one of them down there you can see it's screaming at me because it needs some power so if we come to energy we can create a electric electric generator and you can see the area that covers i think i'm going to shove these sort of just down the middle for now and then we can use electric poles to take electricity from there to everywhere else and if i keep these close to the path they actually they shouldn't interfere with the buildings so i can put that right outside the front which is very handy sorted all right so this building you can see it sleeps seven recruits we can zoom in we can see all the beds and stuff beautiful but not only that we need somewhere for the staff to sleep so these private houses each one of these is where a staff member can sleep so i'll probably shove two of those down for now we then want a canteen to feed people i'll probably shove this in the middle put a food warehouse next to it make sure we have power up there and then we're pretty good to hire our first staff member so in here you can see this dude uh, he's the recruitment guy so people just come here to get recruited so this person here if we spin around it so that is lizzle so we can click on it uh, we can see all of her stats and stuff but up here it says she's a handy woman so i'll tell you what she'd probably make a good maintenance worker so basically i can select what to recruit them as most people they want to be privates but i want i need staff first we can't train privates if we don't have staff so she's going to be a maintenance lady and we're going to hire her for 300 quid a day boosh so she has donned a hard hat and she is very excited heading out into the big wide world of our training camp and i've just realized i haven't built a blooming maintenance thing yet so we need a maintenance building 2925 that's fine we'll shove that down there at the front and then we can just assign our worker so they there you go. Now you can see her heading over there. So she's going to work in here and she will maintain all the buildings and stuff. Uh, next up in our recruitment center, we have another person joined. And down here, it tells you like what they're good at. So medical knowledge, their experience as a medic increases 25% faster. So I'll tell you what, I, I will probably recruit as a medic though it means we need to get the medic stuff in so yeah hi you you're our medic oh, yeah. then infirmary down there as well staff Ooh, member okay. in sorted oh wow I, th <laughs> I thought i hired someone with it but that's just like a, a weird statue thing i love how it's like it doesn't even have skin on it but it's still wearing boots and gloves anyway what we really need next is a chef so this person's just rocking up uh, you can see their speed which is the blue perk is 22 it's actually sort of higher than the others just ignore intelligence uh, and each of these job types they are linked to those so you can see the chef one is blue so the fact she's got a bit of blue i feel like yep we're gonna make you a chef so we'll hire you before you even get through the door uh, we're not we're not hiring anyone that comes by the way we are we are picking only the best <laughs> only the best for our army all right so now we have a chef we can come up here and we can come over to our food warehouse and we can click on that and we can make sure we have a food provider yes we do our food provider is top bun <laughs> What a name. That's so good. So yeah, we can set up that we want to order buns to always be in stock, basically. So our people are going to be eating top buns. And uh, they come in via helicopter. So they're being dropped in there. Lovely job. Lit. And you can see why I've placed this away from the barracks now. Because those helicopters doing deliveries and stuff. If you're trying to sleep in there, it's going to be quite annoying. I've also realized as well, we've only got two houses for our staff members. Yeah, I've hired three. So we'll just place a couple more of those down. Sorted. And then, oh, look, we've got a few people turn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, I feel like this guy would be shouted at. 
bright pink hair, wearing a bright pink all-in-one tracksuit. Before we do any of that, let's actually get the training stuff down. Because at the moment, this is, this is just like a holiday home. They need training. So if we come down to the training section, you can see each one of these buildings, they sort of work on a different stat. Now, they cost 2,700 each. I think we're going to shove one of each down. So we've got intelligence training, nerd stuff in there. Now, we've got the speed training. You've got the standard tires to jump through, as well as the, the razor wire. <laughs> That looks really dangerous. The rusty razor wire netting to get under. You've then got strength training. So just like a load of boxing stuff and weights and things. And then accuracy, which is basically just a shooting range. So now we have all of those in place. We can come back to here and we can say, you, Mr. Purple, I'm going to hire you as a recruit. And you're going to go straight into the intelligence training. So hired. Um, he has changed out of his purple now. He's now in military green. So he's heading over there. You can see above his head, though. And um, basically, he's, he's sort of confused. Like, I've got no goal here so you've got to come down to here and set a goal yeah, so we get to select like where do you want to aim for and you can unlock more of these with research and stuff but we're going to say you you're going to aim to be a comms operator your salary will increase 25 quid a day but uh, you've got to earn the experience to get there you can see there the stat requirement is 60 intelligence he's got 29 so he'll have to learn how to get there first anyway elizabeth no you're not going to be speed we're going to change that to accuracy training so that's all good but she is still confused she has no goal and the accuracy next step up so she wants to be an infantry person now that is locked because we need to research it so down in the research tab oh yes lots of research yeah we can spend a hundred research points to unlock the infantry specialization level one that she needs so that is that done now you can see we're only down to 25 research points so we do actually need to hire a researcher and also build a research lab so research lab any new recruits that could be good at research research is yellow so we need good intelligence oh look at this 26 intelligence yeah so we're gonna hire you as a researcher decent you are hired so she's heading into here and you can see like all the sort of research stuff she does got a nice little chemistry set down there but yeah that's getting us research now you can see that's floating up into that when we're getting 0.82 a second that's not bad All right now you may have noticed in the top right we have this mission available save the cabbages save the world now, if we click on that this takes you to the map view and basically there's sort of like little missions you can do and it tells you here like what you need in terms of people in order to complete it so we need a comms operator and two artillery people because basically the damn architects they've taken everyone's cabbage we can't be having that so basically if we complete that mission we will take this bit of land back and gain some results sources such as cabbage so we don't just eat top buns we can fill them with cabbage mmm cabbage sandwich but yeah so we need a comms person and two artillery <laughs> artillery and you will have noticed as well if we click on this person doing some upper yes, arm sir. stuff now they've got the 60 strength points we can specialize them into their tier one the artillery thing so first off we've got we've got to actually build them so we have artillery specialization building so we'll shove this probably in that gap there we'll make sure we connect it with power as well and now when we come yes, back sir. over to him we can say specialize and we'll go into the artillery specialization building and look now he has donned a hard hat i mean i'm pretty sure that's what they're called in the in the military anyway but yeah so we have our first one of those we do need to train another one though so back into here oh we've got three recruits waiting so you can be strength donald you can be intelligence right. and you can be accuracy sorted All right now if we have over here you'll see our barracks they are actually full seven out of seven so we should probably build another one of those probably next to it we probably need like yeah we got to keep an eye on our food food levels are low so we can can restock that so there you go place an order with top bun lovely jubbly lots of food um, and then all these buildings they need to work at night time there's not just day shifts here there's also night shifts so I sort of need to hire twice as many people uh, for every single job. So you can be another maintenance guy. And look, I can tell his schedule to be daytime or nighttime uh, by clicking these buttons here, which is pretty handy. Um, because this person that we've just recruiting is a night owl, uh, you can be the nighttime chef. Yeah, next up, we're going to unlock the explosive engineer specialization. So buy that. And then I'm going to build all four buildings for each stat so we can research everyone up and start to complete these missions. So we've got all those buildings in. The trouble is it is actually nighttime. And I've just realized I haven't put any lights in. So people, they're sort of like getting lost in the dark. So let's light this place up a bit. Oh no, the trouble is I forgot. The more lights I put down, the more electricity we use. So quickly shove some more power down there. Connect them all together and sorted. Phew. Anyway, next problem you can see we're running out of fuel on our electricity 
electricity generators. That's because I haven't built a fuel depot. So like with the food warehouse, we got to do a fuel one. Um, and we need to do the same with ammo and medicine as well. So yeah, let's just shove them all down. All right. So then what sort of fuel do we have? We only have just gas to choose from. That's fine. Let's stock up on fuel. That's being delivered by the helicopter. Nice. For the ammo, we've got bullets, bombs and beyond. Very high quality. And then we've got medicine as well sorted. And basically you can get different products by completing these missions, getting more of this map unlocked. So, oh wow, this guy's really good. Look, he's got like three different things. Strength and defense. So defense we haven't looked at yet. That just like in case we're being spied on, in case our base gets attacked. That's what we'd need him for. I'll tell you what, we're going to make him a defensive man. Yes! So in order to get the defenses up, we're going to need 750 research to get the security hub unlocked. So I'll tell you what, actually, mate, uh, just go work out, get hench until I can afford to buy a building to work in. All right, so we've been training through the night up the top right. You can see we actually have the right number of people to do this mission. So let's go save the cabbages. So we've got to select a comms operator. Now we've got three to choose from. I think I'm going to go with you. You've got the highest skill there of 102. And then these two artillery guys, you go with it. You can see our battle rank 275. There's 150. So it should be an easy win. First off, we just got to build a helipad so we can send them over. Again, putting this away from the barracks because the noise does actually affect their sleep and stuff. So we'll shove that down there ready. And then we'll start the mission. Right, so that's just running in the background. The mission's in progress. Meanwhile, we got to keep training our people, keep hiring new recruits. Yeah, and I feel like these ones with the heroic perk, I may as well make them privates so they always go on the mission because uh, that reduces the chance the squad makes not returning by 15%. So pretty good that. All right, and as more people arrive on the bus, by the way, they're welcomed by like a very nice little welcome area like with a bear. <laughs> <laughs> the appropriate warning signs. Watch out for flying bullets. Very important in a place like this. Anyway, what can we do for you, mate? I think you are. Oh, you're a strength guy. No, you're not going to be intelligent. You're going to be strength. Although you've got some really bad blooming them. You're more likely to get hurt. You're more likely to be a fatty. And you just want to sleep constantly. I'm actually, I might reject you, mate. I thought I'd hire every and anyone, but no. You've got architect-like tendencies. We are rejecting you. Get out. Anyway, top left, loads of new people that want to specialize. So Carlos Sanchez, he's very, very intelligent. So we're going to make him a comms operator. Congrats. This one, Speedy Gonzalez. He's going to be explosive engineer. Same with this guy. He has a very nice amount of speed. Nice. And then you are our Artillery, decent. We've also, we've got no fuel, so we need to do another delivery from just gas. Wang it up to the top. I thank you. And yeah, we are, we are literally running out of money fast. We're down to just 63 grand. That is why we need to keep doing these missions. So we have successfully completed this one. We get just six grand. Oh God. I was hoping for a little bit more. It was still, look, we've saved the locals. They approached that we erect a statue for our fallen cabbage. And from now on, this day will be remembered as Cabbage Day. All right, so with that completed, we have our next mission. We do need an extra infantry expert, though. Now, I can see top left, someone's ready to specialize. So let's yes, see. No, they're explosives. That is annoying. Okay, we need to make sure we've got people training in here. And yeah, we've got to restock this with ammo as well. Come on, maintenance, guys. We can't train if we don't have ammo. Oh, look, this person is ready. Okay, do Decent. We, ha we now have the right number of people. So let's go do this mission. So four explosives experts to choose from. We're going with the nice one. And then, oh, they look cool in their sunglasses. So again, battle rank way higher than the enemy one. So that should be another easy win. They've gone over there in the helicopter. Decent. Um, and that place that we just took over, can you see it's got like buildings on it? So we can click on any of these and they're all things that will like help us. So we've sort of, we've just unlocked this bank. So we can take a loan if we want one. Could borrow up to... 42 grand. Yeah, I think for now money's sort of okay. So we'll just take over this next one. And I'm hoping we should be able to get a lot more done because we are getting lots of the upper tiered people now. So we better just keep hiring people. All right, and then we've just completed the mission from earlier. So that's a bit of money. Lovely. Oh, and we have an incoming transmission. All right, I've just been told we got to try and rescue this lady. I think it used to be this guy's ex-girlfriend. Uh, thankfully, we have the staff to do that already. So let's go and do that now. Although, oh, we can't. Our soldiers are resting. Okay, we've got to wait for them to rest. That's fine. That's fine. I'll be patient. I'll let them rest. Oh, because that's the other thing we need, actually. It can't all just be work and no play. We need some entertainment for these guys. So we've got a massive cinema showing the premiere of RCE's Bohemian Bridge to D Queen cover. And we've also got an entertainment building that has like darts and pinball and all that sort of stuff. Uh, proves to be very popular right now. So that should increase morale. Very nice. 
Meanwhile, we got loads of research. I did build another research lab. Um, and I'm going to look at the next stage of training, which are these ones. So these are like jewel ones. So spice specialization. Can you see it's got like a blue and a yellow? So I think people need two sort of decent stats to become these. So let's do the spice specialization. Yep. And we'll do the tank driver as well. So I'll shove spy specialization down there. Tank driving across the road. And then we'll go have a look at what these look like. So <laughs> we got like lasers that they got to avoid. Oh, wow. I really want someone to get assigned into this. They need to learn like two stats. So yeah, I can set your goal from the inventory. I can say, actually, I want you to be a tank driver. So now he's got to work on his strength. He's already got the accuracy. But yeah, we need the strength for this guy. And then this guy, he's got the speed to be an explosives engineer. But no, we're going to make you the first spy. So you need to work on your intelligence training. So if we get you out of there and go into intelligence training right. that is good although what isn't good i've just noticed you are homeless oops so build another barrack and then we source wow we have this many people seven in each building this is quite an army now although i feel like we've got more like staff than we do like recruits uh, by the way we are absolutely full people getting they're tired of waiting to be recruited wait i can still recruit you okay well yeah i guess we've got to hire loads of these people then now, the good thing is now i can literally straight away i can tell them that like, you don't want to be tier one you want to for tier two you want to be a spy mate so yeah just hired all these people welcome to the army so they're all heading to their different places i'm basically training a load of spies i want people to be dodging these lasers in no time all right so this person has the flu that will spread like wildfire in these confined spaces so it goes to the infirmary go get treated oh i also have a muscle injury it's the security guy that doesn't actually have a job i'll tell you what i'm just gonna i'm gonna fire you instead how you like that get injured you're fired <laughs> Imagine that. He's like, he's served this company for like several years and he's just limping out of work. He's been fired because he got injured. Right, anyway, we finally have the people rested so they can go start this mission. I think we're on a time limit. We only had like a minute to complete it. Yeah, maybe she would have died if we didn't. So just in time there, you see a person with the flu. They are healing now. So that shouldn't spread through the camp. And basically, there's just a lot of training going on all throughout the night. This is lovely. All right, there's so many recruits. I can't hire anymore. I gotta, I gotta watch the money. We're down to 32 grand. I feel like we have too many recruits for the missions we're doing. Uh, however, we have just completed this one, uh, which has unlocked the next one which needs a tank driver now thankfully we are actually training some of those so i think comms operator will go with you inventory will go with oh they all look so cool in their glasses we'll go with you and then we just gotta wait for oh no they're aviators they're not tank drivers all right we've got to get the aviator specialist unlocked by build the aviator oh man look at that it's like a big old hangar whoa look what's inside one of those g-force for these <laughs> Oh, actually, I am actually really excited to see people try this one. I think that's one of the... Is that like a fan where people like skydive but indoors? Right, anyway, we do have our first spy, so that is cool. I mean, we've also got our second spy, so that's yes, also cool. Now, I need aviators, though. So aviators are orange and blue, strength and speed. All right, so what then? We're going to have to hire some new recruits. All right, so we now have three spies in here ready to do their spy training. I, <laughs> I want to see the lasers. Right, they're going for it. They're going for it. Steady. Steady. <laughs> what happens if you mess up? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, she burnt her leg. She burnt her leg. So, yeah, all these buildings can be upgraded if you research it and then pay for it. Uh, oh, increases training speed by 30%. That's not bad, actually. For the aviators, I do need speed. So, yeah, I'm going to upgrade that. That's this building here. I don't know if the visuals will change as well. Let's have a look. So, upgrade. Oh, it has. We've got, like, we've got tarmac paving now. They can run way faster. But, yeah, we really need to start liberating the territories to get more money because we're, well, we're very much in the red. All right, we're in a bad place. We need more maintenance. So, we'll build another maintenance depot up there. Yeah, zooming out. This is looking quite an efficient base to me anyway finally we have some aviators so yeah yes, get involved before we send them off on the mission i just want to see what they do in here so yeah jet fighter experience there <laughs> yes okay so i think this is indoor skydiving oh it is <laughs> that's so cool whoa holy crap Okay, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. Right, anyway, that's enough fun for you guys. Go take on this mission. Uh, we need some money stat. I might actually take a loan while I'm here. 
full loan. Thank you very much. Anyway, this person is very specialized. You can see they have actually learned three skills. Blue, orange, and yellow. So may as well unlock whatever that is. Blue, orange, yellow. So they're going to be a juggernaut. Ooh, or they could be a hacker. Or a navy command. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. There's so much trick. I think we'll do... We're going to make you a hacker. So we'll take this to the tip of our base. I think we'll shove that there. Then you're going to specialize into a hacker. Congratulations, Gustav. And inside the hacker building, it's just a load of really old looking computers. Oh, that's not as exciting as I thought it would be. Anyway, we completed another mission. So that's a bit more money. And look, we gain another area. So the villagers are very pleased, apparently. <laughs> They're off their tits. Right, so anyway, now we have two missions unlocked, finally. So I think we've got all the people to do that as well. So yeah, we'll send these guys to that one. And whilst that's going on, we'll send these guys to the other one. This is the good thing about having such a large trained army. Uh, we can do two missions at once. So hopefully we should start getting some more income. So yeah, everyone seems to be specializing as an aviator yes, right sir. now. <laughs> Better late than never, I guess. Anyway, we've completed two of those missions. We actually have we have loads more to do. So let's do that. This one needs a maintenance worker. So basically, we're just sending over a worker so they can water their flowers. So you go over to there. Oh, and this one, we get to use our spies. So we'll do that mission as well. All right, so our spies completed that mission. We've gained that area. And look, we've actually got some buildings here. So we've, we have some new food. Starchy troopers. Now, there's also a town as well. And basically, you can like do some marketing in the town so that the recruits come from there because they they have like, well, they're good cooks and they're good handymen. So if we if we want people to specialize in that, that would be a good thing to do next. But yeah, so much to this game. Now, honestly, all the little attention to details and stuff, the graphics, absolutely love it. Um, and if you do as well, be sure to check it out using the link in my description. But for now, I'll say peace, love and dodging death lasers. Bye, guys.